It's a pretty big deal. Tow truck is leaving the, like the crane bay and moving over to the finishing bay. All right, morning. It's another day in the shop. We're on the tow truck today. We gotta get this thing done so we can go whip on some people at the Olympics. Tow truck Olympics. We've got a lot of work to do still before we can go do that. So today, rear end. I got ARB, a truss, disc brakes to put on it. I got a bunch of stuff to do to that. And then we're gonna tackle rock sliders. That's pivoting on a whole bunch of other stuff. So I gotta get those done so that a whole bunch of other stuff can tie into it. She's coming along. All right, Ben's here. We're gonna get this thing gutted. We've got all the parts and pieces that have gotta go back on it. So basically the rear end that's in the tow truck now is a good rear end. We don't wanna tear it apart, but it's not the rear end we want. It doesn't have the right locker. It just has a spool in it and it doesn't have the proper gears in it. Here we go, we'll tear it apart. We'll see. <laughs> Sorry about that. You are not. Landon's been working on his four wheeler. We went, got a donor four wheeler for him, and he put a rear end in it. A bunch of stuff. He just come in and said he's got some redneck stuff. Yeah, you've got some redneck stuff going on. My goodness. He's towing a four wheeler with a four wheeler. It works. Seems safe. Okay. What could go wrong here? It could fall off and just. I mean, he hits the brakes, he could get run over by his other four-wheeler. Who knows, but I'm not hitting the seems brakes. fine. <laughs> so rear end is cleaned up. This uh, truss, I welded it together. Little Barnes four-wheel drive action, they sent that to us. Once again, it's way easier to have them cut it out and time consuming wise than it is for me. Sure, I can build it, but it takes a lot of hours to get it done and they're cutting them out. So <laughs> spend a little money, buy it from them, save a lot of time because we got to win in the tow truck Olympics and we're running out of time to get it done. So we got to get her done. So the project of the day now is to build this rear end, but this is leaf sprung. My leaf springs go right here where those marks are. So this truss is going to get cut off right there. So it butts up flat to the leaf springs. So I got to do a little work to it, but then we'll weld it on and then we can go ahead and put all of this goodness on the floor into the rear end. All right, it's morning time. We're in the shop. This is a big day, right, Land? Yeah. Because the old saw that was dying is getting replaced with this bad boy. It's gonna be good. It's a little smaller, but it's the same horsepower and the same cut diameter, everything like that, which is smaller in size, which in our shop is everything. Oh yeah. We're running out of room, so. Landon, he's unloading all the scrap that we don't need out of this. It came with some wheels, but I don't like those wheels. And this has a frame under it. So we're gonna set it on that frame. Probably have to do a little cutting and modifying to make a set there, but it's going in there and uh, we're gonna do that. So our frame is out. We're just gonna take and put some uh, one inch angle across here and there. And Make it set in there and voila, we're done. Saw's gonna have to earn its keep right off. Uh, yeah. Gonna have to cut its own its own base. That's right. So currently, we're working on the tow truck, but when new tools show up, you're working on those first. We're gonna use this working on the tow truck. So today on the tow truck, we're gonna finish the front or the rear end that we're building, but. We're gonna do this first. Woo! She's a ripper. That's pretty fast. I'll take it. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be the kick it right there. Weld that little bit in and uh, the saw's at home. Done. This is a Harbor Freight saw, central machine saw. This one seems to be pretty sweet, really. Oh, I'm yeah. excited. Look at the size difference, just way smaller, gonna take up a smaller footprint in my shop. And it cuts really good. I'm happy with it. Saw's built. Now back to the tow truck. Let's get this rear end built. Let's get it done. And look at this. Is it kink? Yeah. Are you kidding me? It was in the box, kinked. We'll see if we can straighten that out. I think we can straighten it out. It's not cut. Quality parts. And it has seals in it, right? I put them in, yep. Got to get some lube on this so we don't tear these. That's a bad day. Need a virtual. So uh, this diff cover, I didn't get it from Barnes because they didn't have any currently. So I got it off Amazon. And like everything you get off Amazon, it's pretty close, but it's not good or perfect. So these holes don't line up. So we'll do some burring. Oh yeah, they're just barely off, huh? Yeah. Burr it up. Singer, huh? <laughs> this rear end has been kicking our butts. Really not the rear end, just everything's come up. And we haven't got it done. Last night it rained hard. Yeah, we got some water to deal with first thing this morning. We'll suck all that up and then we will get after finishing this rear end, getting it all plumbed together and put in the truck and hooked up. So all right, Ben stayed late last night and he got the carrier all put together and the pinion put together. All that's left for us to do is stuff it in, figure out where to drill this hole somewhere in here, I think, and run this this uh, copper tube up through it and get it plumbed. So we'll figure that out. It's a little heavy. Hey, it fits. Great. How come you don't just do this? That's a valid excuse, but Mr. Joe Perry sent us some stuff for our wrecker. That's pretty cool. That is pretty sweet little wrench. We're about to get to it. Oh, ho, it's a hook. I think that's what this is. Oh, yeah. Perfect. We'll use those things. Thank you. I'm under the truck. <laughs> So as you can see, like right down there where I was pointing in my hand took up all, it's hitting. So we'll just have to do a little bit of grinding right there and then, then things will work. I'm trying to figure out where to drill the hole for my ARB line right now. I think I'm gonna put it on this side. All right, I think we're gonna put it right there. We wanted to wait <coughs> from this this is all rotating. So we want it away from it as much as we can get it. That's gonna do it. No turning back. These drill bits, look at them. They're a stepper bit. These things are sweet. Oh yeah, that's gonna be gonna be perfect right there clean the threads out all right like that. I think I get heavier hey it spins maybe we're gonna win this time hey like a glove 
She is missing everywhere now. Okay, that has to go right there. Like so. Look at that. Doesn't hit. That is kind of what winning looks like. I'm making a mess. I guess if you ask Michelle, that's what I'm good at though. <laughs> how flammable this is. A little, not bad. All right, evidently we've lost some sound, but I'm just telling you how I marked the cap so I was for sure to get them in the right place. And the little tab that locks the ARB actuator from rotating around. So there you go. That feels pretty good actually. No grinding noises, nothing crazy. All right, so this is the original shim that was in this rear end when it was built. We're gonna start with that and see where it puts us. And if we don't like it, we'll continue on. Okay, right there, it fits really good. We'll figure out where that goes. That's pretty impressive. Like the backlash is set up good. Interesting. So you're supposed to have like four to six thousandths. Okay, we're looking for too much. 20 thousand, 21 thousandths. We're looking for less than that. So we'll take and loosen that, tighten that one that much. That's how much she's moving. So if you wanted to know exactly, yeah, it's like seven, I can live with that. That's pretty, that's pretty good really. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten those, put a little preload, I like it. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Those of you that watch my channel all the time, you see me do this a bunch. Sometimes it's perfect, sometimes it's perfect enough. We'll see what today has in store for us. This just tells us where the gear is gonna run on here. And we want it to be right in the middle, basically. Is what we're shooting for. All right, let's see what it looks like. Not too bad, really. What's the coast side look like? Oh, it's right, right smack where we want it. We're taking it. Good enough, she's built. We'll uh, plumb this up through and get it in there. Glue a diff cover on it, put some hubs on it, and start bolting it in. Okay, built. Well, except for the outer parts. We'll do those next. Right. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We've got some problems here, Houston. Do you know what they are? Uh, put it on back. Yep. Backwards, yeah. Yeah, I put this bracket on exactly backwards. Blaming Graydon. Your fault, dude. No, your quality control. <laughs> Look, I'm just mixing. No, your quality control. You have to make sure you do this right. That easy. <laughs> what do you do? All right, this better fit this time. Oh, it's looking way better. That we can deal with. Brakes are on. We'll just repeat on the other side and then we'll be ready to put this in. Okay, done. We're to the point where we're gonna jerk this rear end out of here. So we've made this fairly simple so that we can still tear everything apart that we need to. The airbag pucks come off with one bolt. You guys seen me build these a long time ago when my dad still owned this truck. 
and they're still gonna work. Feels like there's some little suspension in the back now. Yeah, it doesn't flop around like yeah. it does. <laughs> so, now that that's off, we'll pull the four U-bolts, set the rear end on the ground, lift it up, and roll the other one under it. I'll grab a gun. I think we may have read the tape measure properly. Yeah, that's basically in it. Nope. Hey, who's the new guy behind the camera right. here? Just What's a guy it? I found on the street. Let me see him. So Paul hasn't formally introduced our new camera guy. <laughs> this is Hunter. Funny thing about Hunter is he has our same last name. But we're not really <laughs> not closely related, not at are all. we? No. And we live in a town of like 400 people, so that's saying something. Yeah, that's How long have you known old Hunter? Since he was a wee little baby. <laughs> He's the same yep. age as my niece, and they pretty much grew up together. So I've known Hunter since he was oh, yeah. literally in his mother's belly. Now he's here. All right, we're about to win this battle. We are uh, going together. Probably gonna put some serious force on this. I want these nice and snug. Set this back on. You can see the end in sight right here. Mm -hmm. All right, installed. Looks good. There's the wheels that we are gonna run on this. BFG KM3s, of course. They look pretty good on here. We'll swing them up on. They're heavy, in case anyone was wondering. You want me to help you? Yeah, Grandma, <laughs> swing that on there. I like them. Don't go down. Set it on the ground and see what it looks like. That looks pretty cool. Obviously we haven't pumped the front ories up yet, so it's bottomed out in the front. So the front's gonna come up four and a half inches, but <laughs> that's what she's gonna look like. Race line, bead locks on the front, cam threes in a 37 inch building this truck so 40s will fit on it but 37s are what we have right now so if we don't like them we'll throw 40s on it okay so this is a pretty big deal tow truck is leaving the shop well even the like the crane bay and moving over to the finishing bay so we're gonna got a strap hooked on with the old forklift hunter he's gonna steer this thing kicking tires and moving them and cameraman graders He's gonna be filming. Just like right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little film of the bad in there, Hunter. All right, you do whatever you think's the best. Okay. We're moving. First time this thing's moved with the new axles. Oh, we're hitting. Let's see if we can't hit that motor. Yeah, okay. Okay. We'll take it. Hunter, here. Here's the camera. All right. Truck is in its final resting place until we get it put together. 
And we haul it up to Chad's Fab to get it wired. Once we get fenders and everything on it and get all the plumbing done, we'll have the hosers come down, elevated. That's the guys. We'll have them come down and build all our hydraulic hoses, brake hoses, fuel lines, all that plunder. And then haul it up to Chad and get some, get some fire put in this thing. Until next time, thanks for watching.